Hi everyone, this is Monica. Um, I'm here in my lash studio right now. I wanted to talk a little bit about lash thickness, especially for beginners, but not just for beginners because this changes a lot. There's always like new lashes, um, like Clashbox LA launched uh, 0.04, and I think there's also a 0.02, and I'm gonna tell you what I used to use when I just started lashing and what I use right now. Um, and of course, this can always change and this is just my opinion. Some things I prefer also especially because it depends on which technique you use to make the fans. So in my case, I like painting. That's how I learned. I did learn how to do a little bit on the, on the strip. And I also have like a sticky sticker. <laughs> From London Lash that you can also do your lash fence there um, however I learned how to do it with a pinching so this is much faster for me I don't have to worry about this and all stress and I really like it so um, if you just started lashing I would say try different techniques maybe you can check on YouTube or Instagram videos like other people that use other techniques because sometimes even what your, your mentor taught you how to do it maybe it's their personal favorite but maybe for you something else will work like much better um so i'm gonna start with the classic lashes so for the classic lashes they are thicker because well we just put one extension per lash and most of us, they, well, the classic lashes were the first one invented and they were invented in a very thick, uh, I think it was 0 0.20 or 0 0.25. Um, but nowadays we know that's way too thick and it's quite heavy and hard as well on your eyes. So when they start, like, especially when they start growing and they poke your eyes a lot. So for me, I've always learned with 0 0.15s um however nowadays i do use 0 0.15 or 0 0.20 but not the regular uh extensions for classics not the regular ones the ones i like using are the flat ones so they're flat so they're much thinner from the side and they are much lighter as well so for example a 0 0.20 flat it's gonna weight the same as a regular 0.15. So that's why um, I use either point zero, even the 0.15 flat I also use or the 0.20 flat. So the best thing about the flat lashes that I think is that they are much more comfortable than the regular ones because they are flat, they are much more flexible and they are not as hard as the regular ones so they the regular one really pokes in your eyes like sometimes when i get clients from other places and they have classic lashes like regular the classic lashes i can feel even with my tweezers they are so hard they don't turn they are not flexible so if you sleep like with your face in a pillow some people still like for most people it's still very hard to like not touch your eyes in the pillow and having those very like hard and um, thick extensions on your eyes might poke your eyes and might be might bother you and make your eyes itchy and stuff and very uncomfortable so that's not something that we want so the main thing for me is because they're very flexible but also because they are flat they have more contact with the natural lash so the retention can also be much better moving on for volume lashes um, when I learned lashes there are basically two types of volume um, you can either do Russian volume so Russian volume it's usually from what I learned basically from 3d so it means three extensions per natural lash so from 3d to 6d which means up to six lashes per natural lash six extensions per natural lash so that would be considered a Russian volume and that will not be as full and bold and thick as the mega volume which is the american volume so for the russian volume the 3d to 60 usually most people are going to use 
uh, lashes they're 0.07 on thickness and to be honest i did practice i used them on the beginning but nowadays i don't really do it because um i don't know it's just when i was practicing with my mentor they would regularly use 0.05s so 0.05s is a little bit thinner than the 0.07 obviously and but what i think is i think it's a lot of practice as well so because when i was doing my mentorship that i was doing like clients every day for like almost two months i was doing one or even two clients per day and at the time like on the beginning you're gonna be really slow so i was taking like five hours on each client trying to do like some kind of volume or hybrid or something like that yeah my sister i remember i took like solid six hours i had like i did one eye in three hours and then we had to stop it had, give it a break and then go have dinner and then i came back and i did the other eye so on the beginning it's really like frustrating and tiring so you just do whatever you can like you're gonna have to find the best like tweezers the best slashes the best slashing technique for you to make it as fast as possible otherwise it's gonna be like too tiring for you when you actually start working with it so for me i prefer because zero fives are thinner uh, more comfortable and it's also very good because i can use them on russian volume or like a light volume and i can also use in some clients i can also do mega volume with them so i'm gonna touch up on mega volume later but the russian volume right now what i do is i usually because zero fives are thinner than zero sevens um, I don't have to go 3D because 3D it would be too thinner to go 3D So I usually go from 4D to 670D um, With the 05s and then if I want if my client wants to get like something thicker and fuller and bolder Then I would go for mega volume. So the mega volume with time you're gonna learn on the beginning when I just started lashing mega volume i would only use 0.03 because 0.03 were made for mega volume they were made for american volume and because they are like way thinner than 05s they are much lighter for your eyes so you can make bigger fuller bands that will make the lashes like get like fuller and this eyeliner effect but with time you're gonna learn um, just with experience, you're gonna see like some clients have like thicker lashes than others. Um, I might be able to find some examples to show you. Um, some lashes are gonna be like way longer, thicker. So in those cases, like if they want like a mega volume and their lashes are thick and strong, we can use, we can make bigger fans with the 05s. But on the beginning, I would always recommend go with 0.03s because you're still learning and until you get the confidence and the knowledge of like, oh, can I use 05s or 03s on these ones? You know, I have 05s. So right now in stock for volume, hybrid and mega volume, I have 0.05s and 0.03s. But there are also like other thickness like 0.04s and 0.02s. I've never used those ones, so I can say much about them. But if you have tried, then let me know and maybe I can try 0.4s. I think 0.4s would probably be nice. 0.2s, I think they would be so thin. I'm not sure how my pinching technique, if that would, if that would work. So you also have to find a brand that you like, that you feel comfortable because right now i use lashbox la for my volume lashes and london lash for my flat classic lashes and i find it that even lashbox la i love the the volume lashes but it's still sometimes they have like different colors so i have like the ombre the mermaid ombre lashes and they even though they are 0.05 they don't feel like 0.05s they feel like 0.7s so for me it's very different when i do the pinching and then 
sometimes the fans are not as good as I wanted but then they also have like a full color lashes and I got the purple one recently for one of my clients and that one feels better so it's like really they probably use different manufacturers and that's why lashes are different like they're not all the same um so you're really gonna have to test it and try it and maybe let the brand know that you like or something came wrong with your order yeah that's it for today guys um let me know if you have any questions or anything about lashes like thickness curls or brands i can talk more about what i have here what i like to use what i don't like what i tried before and let me know if you've tried other types of lashes um i also have like some easy fans easy fanning lashes and some pro made lashes and i have a lot of opinions about these pro made lashes actually maybe i'll do make a video because um i don't know i have a lot of things to say about that so thank you thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video